checkers. Everyone has played it at least once in childhood. Is this underrated game simple and solved? In this video I will explain whether these often repeated statements about checkers are true or not. Let's start with the second question. So, is checkers solved? In 2007 news spread around the world that checkers had been solved and if two perfect players were to play against each other, the game would always end in a draw. After 16 years of working on the Shinnok program, its creator, professor of computer science Jonathan Sheffer and his colleagues from the University of Alberta achieved their goal. They announced to the world that checkers, which can have up to 500 quintillion possible positions, always leads to a draw with perfect play. To come to this conclusion, they needed to analyze only 10 to the power of 14 possibilities. And what did people do with this information? They put checkers in the simple and solved games drawer. But is counting so many possibilities achievable for a human? Let me add two things. The Shinnok program solved American checkers, in which checkers can only capture forward and the king moves only by one square at a time. There are other popular variants of checkers where pieces can capture both forwards and backwards, and the king can move and capture along entire diagonals. I'll show you now the same position for American and Brazilian checkers. Look at the number of possible moves. And what if I add that the most popular tournament variant is international checkers, which is played on a 100 square board with 20 pieces each. Since 2007 there has been no information about solving other variants of checkers. It doesn't seem to me that even modern computers would be capable of doing that. On the other hand, we might ask, is it a bad thing that a computer solves a game and declares a draw? Would you prefer to play something where, in a perfect game, your opponent always beats you? Checkers are perfectly balanced, and it doesn't matter whether you play with white or black checkers. For comparison, in chess, white starts with an advantage. And it's hard to escape these chess-checkers comparisons. Although these sports should not be compared, because the fact that they can be played on the same board is like comparing football to volleyball, just because both have a field and a ball. And if we must address this topic, then let's ask the unquestioned authority, chess grandmaster Vasily Ivanchuk, who has maintained a position in the top 10 chess players in the world for decades. Mr. Vasily has been playing and training in checkers for many years, and today he is ranked 1198th on the world ranking list. Is it possible to compare the difficulty of chess and checkers? Both are very difficult. A match clearly positions uh, even more difficult uh, in checkers because uh, especially if uh, uh, there are many captures in uh, in uh, your calculation, because uh, in chess it's very simple. If you take in the piece, only one piece disappears from the board. In checkers, uh, many pieces can, uh, can disappear, and uh, to see clearly position after such recaptures, it's, it's still not easy, despite of training. Let me explain what Mr. Vasily means and that way answer the question, is checkers simple? Let's examine a well-known opening in American checkers called the cross choice. Let's suppose you are playing with the black pieces, it's your turn and you are considering this move. In your mind, you must check all six possibilities of your opponent. One of them leads to a play that creates three additional variants. Let's look at them. After this capture, your opponent makes a waiting move, you jump and then he takes three checkers to a king. Let's check the other possibilities. After this capture, he jumps here, you jump and again the opponent gets to a king. The last option. You capture here. You must notice this move by your opponent. You jump, he takes two pieces, you jump, and again the white gets to a king. All options lead to loss, 
so we must reject this move and look for another. This is how the decision-making process looks with each move of the game, and there can be dozens of them. In this example I presented a series of captures through which, in just a few moves, the arrangement of pieces on the board changes drastically. This is exactly what Mr. Vasily meant. Precisely imagining all possibilities is incredibly demanding, but this is the greatest beauty of checkers. Checkers is a game with simple rules, as in my videos I present them in just one minute, but it is a very complicated game that you could dedicate your entire life to and still not reach the absolute. Playing checkers is a diverse and multifaceted training for the brain, developing memory, imagination, concentration, logical reasoning and decision making. In 1947 the World Drafts Federation FMJD was established. It includes over 80 national federations from all inhabited continents. Under its umbrella, World Cup Series tournaments as well as World Championships are organized. In 2021 I was the director of the Women's World Championship match. Broadcasts from this event were viewed by over 160,000 spectators. After 10 days of play, yeah, 10 days, this one mistake decided everything. Checkers is a beautiful sport. It can be a hobby that becomes the passion of your life. If you want to start your checkers adventure and learn how to play and win at checkers, then in the first link in the description you will find my complete beginner's guide to winning strategies.